Hello students. So now we are gonna see a numerical which is based on trapezoidal rule. So here we'll see how to evaluate the integration or I would say the definite integration by or with the help of trapezoidal rule. So let's start. So here we have integration from 0 0.2 to 1.4 sin x minus log x to the base e that is the natural logarithm plus e raised to x dx and we have to evaluate this integration by using trapezoidal rule. So guys you all know that we use trapezoidal rule to evaluate the integration when we have the values or certain intervals between the end points. So here I will say the end points are 0 0.2 and 1.4. So now the intervals are not given and also the value of the function at that interval is also not given. So here we will consider that interval and we will find out the value of the given function at each and every interval and then we will apply the formula of trapezoidal rule to get the answer. So here for that I will prepare a table where I'll start that table with 0 0.2 and it will end with 1.4 and uh, for simplicity or for the calculation we will take a difference of 0 0.2 between any two intervals or any two values of x. So here I'll say let's say this is values of x and for that we are getting the corresponding value of y and y is nothing but this function f of x. So Let's say first value of x is 0 0.2 with the difference of 0 0.2 we'll get now for each and every value we'll find out the value of function. So guys to get the value of function as 0.2 Take your calculator and enter sine of 0 0.2 but remember this value must be in radians. So sine of 0 0.2 minus log of 0 0.2 to the base e plus e raised to 0 0.2. So if you will enter all these values and if you will calculate on Calci then you will get 3.0. 2.95. So guys you can check your calci if you are getting this value then you are right. Now similarly we just have to change the value of x everywhere and we have to put 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and by putting all the values we will get the following table. So I am writing down the values directly and you can check these values on your calculator. So So now guys I got all the values through calculator and for these values now we will find out the value of the integration by using the trapezoidal rule. So what is the formula of trapezoidal rule? So let us see. So here I will say by trapezoidal rule. the value of integration or i is given as h upon 2 into x plus 2r where 
h is the difference between any two intervals or any two values of x then capital x is the sum of extreme ordinates now guys here as we got the value of x and y the value of y will call it as ordinate or we generally call it as ordinate so we'll say this first value as y0 which will be the value corresponding to this x0 then this will be y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 so here x is nothing but sum of extreme ordinates so here the extreme ordinates are y0 and y6 so sum of that will be x and r is nothing but sum of remaining ordinates that is sum of y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 so we have to find these values and put it over there so let's find it out so here i'll say therefore capital x is equal to y0 plus y6 so guys you can take your calculator and you can put these two values so by substituting these two values of y0 and y6 in calc you will get answer as 7.73368 next let's get the value of r and for that we have to add y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 so by adding all these values in the calc you will get 16.49075 so guys we got the value of x and r now we'll put this these two values in the formula so here it will be h that is 0 0.2 by 2 into x plus 2r so that would be so here i have substituted the value of h x and r now let's again find out the value of i on calc so if we'll put all these values in calculator you will get it as 4.071518 so guys this is nothing but the value of integration so here we got the value of definite integral by using the trapezoidal rule so i am sure that you like this video and you want to learn more videos of engineering mathematics then guys do not forget to log into ekita.com today itself where you will get all the videos of engineering mathematics and other subjects at one place so keep learning see you in the next video thank you very much